so we were talking about Russell Westbrook and the antics, stuff like that, but that he, he, he segued into Paul George because he was saying, you know, Russell Westbrook's been that way, da 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 and he hasn't had players, and then I'm like, whoa, chill. Um, but the part that I want to, like, focus on the most is when he said Paul George did not make his team better. Like, did not impact his team like that. And I'm like, well, did was he not MVP? And defensive player of the year candidate, like top three, because to me, that says, oh, you're bringing in 28, 8, 4, and 2.2 steals with .4 blocks. Not reading that stat line. That's off memory, but that's pretty damn yeah. impressive. So, I like, that, yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that that does yeah. not impact the team. Like, you're guarding the best player while still damn near dropping 30? That alone. Yo. Like, that's going to impact me highly. Just, just off that. So, like, do you believe, in general, an MVP and a defensive player of the year, even a candidate, cannot impact the team and solely just impact themselves? So, it's crazy because there's an argument for both sides. I'm like, when you initially said it, I'm like, hell no, this is wild. This is a... But if you think about those teams after KD left, they won, I think, 47, 48, and 49 games in consecutive years. Um, and again, Paul George was Paul George, right? With Russ, next to Russ, he had his greatest season of his career. Almost MVP, mm-hmm. almost defensive player of the year. There was so much hope there. They had Melo, of course. Um, but I think once playoff time came around, we, he clearly unraveled. Um, mm-hmm. And that for me makes it tough for me. If he didn't look that bad in the playoffs, I'd be like, he's tripping. Mm. His impact was felt, right? Mm. Bro, if I had to to be, you know, closer to one side and the other, I would say, I would say he's impact. Uh, he's impactful. You said you would or would not? I would say he is impactful because okay. he's two way okay. player, right? You don't mm-hmm. almost become MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. I still think OKC would have had the same regular season without him. And that's the thing. Because they were winning 47, 48 games before he got there. And then he got there and they won the same amount of games in a regular season. Um, Yeah, but I I cannot, as bad as I want to say that it's not as impactful as Paul George. We've seen him in Indiana. We've seen him before the Clippers. I got to give him his flowers and say he's impactful and he made a difference. He just had a bad series versus Utah. In the playoffs, he averaged 20. I, I was reading it off of this first time I'm looking at. So he's averaging 28 points. So he's round up 29. Nine rebounds, four assists, 1.4 steals. I, I look at that like that's not. I, is that a bad series to you? What, what series are you referring to? I'm sorry. So this is this is I, I, it was, I, it was it, this is the 2018 2019 season, okay. and they only play and they only play five games versus so Utah. 20, I'm gonna, let me see if this is Utah. I'm on the. Because the year that I'm talking about was 2018, 2019. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to think. So, Russ's first year by itself was 16, 17, right? And then 17, 18? They played Portland. This was against Portland. This was against oh, okay, Portland. okay. So, yeah, that makes so sense. This was by day. This was yeah, by so, day. okay. Yeah. So, was it the year before then where they played Utah? I, think, I, I believe okay. so. I believe yeah. so. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm going to mix up. My bad. Yeah, because that, cause that one he's averaging 25, 6, and three um, mm-hmm. during that playoff run. So that's a little bit of a, a dip from what he did that first or during that regular season. Actually, yeah. no, it's not. He actually increased his numbers, which is crazy. Only thing that dropped was the steals. So okay, like, and then next year was 28. Yeah, and that was the end of Okay, so that makes sense. Game. Okay. Yeah, so like you lose to Dame. All right, cool. I hear that. That was a tough series, though. Like, Dame was on one. Yeah. I can't hold you. Um, for me, like I said, like I, I never want to view an MVP or a defensive player of the year as someone who does not impact the team. So like that, I, yeah. I, I get where I get what he's trying to say, but like it's still very tough. Like again, that like if if we're saying they're the most valuable player, or like you're the defensive player of the year, and then there's a, and then there's statements like defense wins championships. Like I, I I've heard too much. I've seen too mm-hmm. much from these two spe- like, specific positions where it's like. They don't add value because now when we say, oh, well, Braun has this many MVPs, well, according to my man Ira, it don't really mean much. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not really impacting well, the team then. So that's why I'm like, I, 
it's tough to say. Like it, it I, I, I might want to. You might. I, it, it might want to be reworded a little bit because, like that. Even again, bringing up someone, Paul George. Paul George had a wonderful season. Obviously, it did not live up to the expectations. But even still, the man played like Dame hit a tough shot over him. Like it's deep. Like not a lot of players do that. So for me, I, I get where you're coming from because like I do understand where he's coming from. It's just tough to say. Like Dame hit that tough shot over him. That side step towards the right, damn near that yeah, logo. Like exactly that. Like by definition, that how we were taught, that was a bad shot. He's just a bad boy. So it's like I don't know what to tell you. 